Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card replacement for iMac 27 inch 2012 through 2015. We'll need the following tools, two plastic pick prying tools, one metallic prying tool, tweezers, double sided M3 tape, and a tool kit as well as a blow dryer. Let's begin by disconnecting the power cable from the back of the iMac. Go ahead and turn on the blow dryer starting in the top left corner and go around the contour of the iMac. Make sure to have the setting on high and do this for about 7 minutes. After the display is nice and warm, go ahead and pry in with your metallic prying tool at the top left corner. Pry in about half an inch in and go all the way around the entire contour of the iMac. Once you've broken the seal with the metallic tool, go ahead and start with the plastic tool to widen the gap. Take the plastic prying tool, stick it in the same slot and just go all the way around the edges again. Now it's grabbing at each top corner, go ahead and clamp open the iMac up top. Be very careful, once you start cracking this open, there are two connections that are connected to the iMac in the top right quadrant. Let's take a closer look. The connections are the video data cable and the power cable. The video data cable needs to be unlatched first, so with your tweezers, go ahead and pry in underneath and grab the little black tape and pull away from the iMac and the lever and push it up like so. Now you can go ahead and pull out the data cable. The next cable, the power cable, has two plastic clips that should be pressed in from the side but they hardly ever work so just pulling it out carefully should do the trick. Now we can lower the screen and break the seal of the tape on the bottom and separate it from the iMac. First we need to move the speaker out of the way that's secured with two T10 screws. Go ahead and loosen up those screws now. With the two T10 screws loose, now go ahead and disconnect the speaker that's connected right there. Just pull it out just like that. Now go ahead, tilt it and work it out. You should feel a lot of resistance pulling this one out. As you can see, the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module has four antennas attached to it. There are two on the right side, one up top, and one in the center of the Mac, the main antenna. Go ahead and remove the two T4 screws that are securing the module. Once those screws are removed, go ahead and snap away the coaxial antenna cables, one by one. Now you can go ahead and wiggle the Wi-Fi card out and just pull it up. Be careful when you're doing this, don't do this too fast. It should come right out. Here's what it looks like. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card installation. The module reinsertion angle can be daunting. Go ahead and play around with it a little bit. Try to align it and push it and click it in. Once you think you have a good alignment, go ahead and attempt to screw in the two T4 screws. If you had a good alignment, you shouldn't have any problems screwing this, this in. Once that's done, go ahead and secure the four coaxial cables for the antennas. Make sure you get a nice good solid click. I'll speed it up here to save you the pain of watching me plug in four coaxial cables. Go ahead and reinsert the speaker back into its original orientation. Go ahead and reconnect it while you have it loosely set in its socket. Once reconnected, you can correct the speaker positioning inside of its socket. So go ahead and just reconnect it first, then position it. And now you can go ahead and screw in the T10 screws. 
it's time to put back the screen. The most important part of a good reinstallation is to remove all residual double-sided tape from the contour of the iMac. Go all the way around, make sure to remove all of it, especially around the antennas. Removing all the foam and double-sided tape allows for a good seal. Once you remove all of it, we can go ahead and apply double-sided M3 tape around the contour of the iMac where the screen is going to be attached. This is a time-consuming process but cannot be avoided. Go ahead and go all the way around the contour. Make sure to apply double-sided tape everywhere that it was previously installed. The next most crucial step is to remove the residual double-sided tape from the screen itself if you're reinstalling a refurbished screen or if this is just putting back your old screen this needs to be removed align the screen at the bottom of the iMac tilt it up go ahead and reconnect the power to the screen first now go ahead and reconnect the data cable by flipping the little lever down putting in the data cable making sure you hear a little click and then flipping down the lever and hear a little click again now we can fully clamshell the screen back to the iMac and apply some pressure all the way around where the double sided tape is applying general pressure all the way around should not be a skip step go ahead and make sure you go all the way around applying pressure squeezing the screen tight up against the frame even at the bottom 